man, there was so much. I've, I've floundered for probably 18 months. Um, you know, went back to work, uh, found a job. Actually, my background was in aviation. So went to work for a drone company. Um, actually enjoyed it, helped uh, another organization stand up their uh, their drone program, uh, NASBLA, which they're the they're the ones that certify boat captains here in the States, but I went to work on the uh, law enforcement side, which was pretty cool. And just get, and just realized, you know, it's when, when you, when you get knocked down, probably the best thing you can do is surround yourself with people. I do not go into isolation. Um, Even, even running the gym, I felt like I was isolated as an owner, didn't really have anybody to fall back into. Then as I got into the NASBLA game, it just was surrounded with, um, you know, law enforcement guys realized, no, I, I miss this, like the camaraderie of, or even just being around other guys and being able to having a safe space to be able to tell them, you know, what was going on. That was a big, uh, a big aha moment for me. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think there's so much just around being emotionally resilient and, and that happens over time. You have to, you need to get some scars for that to develop and realize for me, I just needed to just take action, you know? And, and I think I don't, tend to feel sorry for myself for too long uh you know i think in ted lasso they talk about being you know have the have the memory of a goldfish literally that's 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 where i'm at like i would try to stay out of that victim mindset as best i could and surround myself with people that get it figured out yeah that's really good and i know that was something i struggle with once i got out of college and i wasn't playing sports anymore because you know i had spent last 15, 16 years of my life playing sports and uh, team sports. So once I got out, I really missed that camaraderie. And even though I was married and I love my wife and I love that um, partnership, we had the camaraderie that you speak about of baseball and basketball and just that team aspect and, you know, locker room and, and all the the fun activities you got to have as a team. I definitely missed that. And I think I struggled for, for quite a while, for several years, trying to figure out what that looked like now that my identity wasn't in that, in those locker room moments any, anymore, if you will. Yeah. Don't you think, and I know you've, you got, you've had a, a pretty cool journey too, but reality is messy. Right. And I, yeah. I feel, um, I feel problems as hard as they may be. And some of the struggles we go through, they also present an, a huge opportunity. I always believe like the road is rising to meet you. And it's almost like lean into the problem, figure out what is this trying to teach me? So I'm sure you've gone through that hundreds of times with your, For with sure. your companies. 